Plant City Airport. Automated weather observation. One, three, two, zero, Zulu. And what's going in, Bertha, you ask? Golly gee. Some G5s. And then we got all the paraphernalia that goes with it. The 29, the little 13, the GMU 11. Because we are going to get rid of the vacuum system that I just put in there. We're also going to be getting rid of the Garmin 106A, the CDI. That I just put in there. And getting rid of the, uh, the DG, the directional gyro that I just put in there that's brand new and fully redone. And like many things in life, I do a lot of them backwards. However, aha, I am going to show you why that Approach Fast Stack is fantastic because all I gotta do to install these, well, let me back up. If you get it from Garmin and you have them do it and the normal way to do it, you have to pretty much rewire everything. You gotta get a whole new harness. They say it's only $500, but that's not it. Because you gotta undo all of your Garmin 430, your other stuff, and you gotta pull pins, put pins in, pull this, put that stuff in, and it's a lot of wiring work. However, the Approach Fast Stack, not so much. I take out my old stuff, I put in the new stuff, and then I plug it into the box, I run it over, plug it into the back of the G5, run a power on the ground, and I'm done. That's it. Fantastic. And I'm going to show you all that on these next couple of videos. I don't think, I don't know. We'll see. The other thing that I learned is with the G5s, with this little GMU 11 magnetometer, it's, it's gone woke, okay? It's really sensitive and it needs a safe space, a safe space. And with the old strobes, you know, they're kind of flashy like this, right? So they put out too much EMF, a little more electrical field than this thing is able to handle. It needs its little clothespin. So we have to put all LED stuff in here, all the LED strobes and all that other good stuff. Well, oh yeah, by the way, that's 2,000 more dollars. Awesome. Told you, every time you come into your hangar, you open the door, you just go, hello to the airplane and goodbye to $2,000. That's just how it works. Welcome to Jimmy's World. I'm Jimmy. On today, we are going to go spend some money at an avionics shop. And I'm at Gulf Coast Avionics. And I got to tell you, though, it's probably a really bad idea because there's a lot of shiny stuff in here. So let's go check it out. Oh, look at all the shiny stuff. Man. Lights. Oh, good lord, that's bright. Man, that's cool. Oh, touch screen. Seriously, how do you not just come in and spend your entire retirement account on shiny stuff? Y'all remember Cletus Buford? Bam! Well, when he's not risking it all in the helo carrier, his real job, his day job, is, what is it, sales manager? Yes, sales manager. He's like, look at me, I'm a sales manager. Over here at Gulf Coast Avionics, and he kept, every time he'd get in the six, and in my old Cherokee uh, 180, he's like, dude, you need to put G5s in here. You gotta put G5. For a year, I've had to deal with him talking to me about this. And so finally, I'm like, okay, fine. I'll put the G5s in there. So here today, we're picking them up and we're gonna go check them out. Say, say hi. How's it going, everybody? Hey, okay, spoiler alert, his, his actual name is not Cletus. It's actually Levi Vickers. I like Cletus better, so I'm gonna keep calling him Cletus. Works for me. Ooh, look, boxes. Let me see, how much does this weigh? Yeah, that's about $6,000 worth. Wow, fancy. So you'll use your, this is your G5 attitude indicators over here. Yeah. So this will be your display and on the G5, on the attitude part of it, it's a little bit more simple than the HSI. So this will kind of be the only component for this. However, it'll connect to your GAD 13, which will give you your outside air temperature, true air speed. 
things like that kind of oh. works as a flight mode. There you go. Uh, and then on your G5 HSI, the display would be the same as this one. However, you'll use your GAD 29B, which is going to be your interface module uh, for the 430 and the autopilot. So it'll all go through this box. Gotcha. And then your GMU 11 is your magnetometer, which this will either get mounted in the tail or in a link to somewhere in there, but it's just a black box. And I So how much, how much is all these shiny bits? Um, so they're you know right around fifty five hundred dollars, a little a little less than that, but for and that, that that includes both the probes, all that stuff. Yes, sir. I have a really popular YouTube channel. What if I made a plug for Gulf Coast Avionics and you gave me this stuff for free? No. Who are you again? I'm, I'm, I'm a YouTube superstar, Jimmy, from Jimmy's World. Um, yeah, I'm not familiar with that. Okay, um, how, the half off? No. Um, military discount, 10%? No. Good. How about this? I'll sell it all to you, regular price, and I'll give you a free sticker. Deal. Well, that works. Make it happen. That works. Call him Cletus whenever you call. Please, Cletus Buford. Cletus Buford. Cletus Buford. He helped install that uh, Surefly E Mag. Awesome. Good deal. Enjoy the new equipment. Yeah, and we'll get him out there to. You, you, you're, freaking, you're gonna come out there and help install this. Thing, too, so. Do think, what? You're not. Uh, you're not off huh? the hook yet. I think we're breaking up. That's right. Pretty <laughs> kids these days got no respect for their elders. All right, man. Good deal. Appreciate it. Yes, Thanks sir. so much. You guys come visit Gulf Coast Avionics, and you know, touch all the buttons and stuff. It's a lot of fun. All right. I believe in exercise and staying in shape, and I've uh, been working on my six pack. Here, let me let me show you what I got here. Boom! First thing we got to do is start taking stuff off. Here's the old strobe. That's got to go. Vacuum pump under there. That's got to go. The strobe up on top. That's got to go. The light in the back. That's got to go. Step one is complete. We got the LEDs right there. Now, funny story, the one on the back strobe is back ordered by about a month, so I'm waiting on that, so that's there. But I don't have to wait on that to get everything else done. Got an LED up front here. And we got the LED on this side. Next step is to start working on getting rid of all this extra dead weight over here with that vacuum pump and all these hoses and start tearing apart the inside there. Yeah, yeet, yeet. We get to take out half of this stuff. We get to take out this DG here, this attitude indicator. And I just had this one redone for 900 bucks. So that, that stinks. I just bought that. That was, I don't know, 13, 14, $1,500 or something like that. That's coming out, that's coming out, that's coming out. This thing is coming out. Plug, plug, G5, G5. All right, that was the easy part. We got the attitude, the DG, 106 out. Bada bing, bada boom. I was able to loosen it up and route it back there. Hi. Now I just gotta finish taking out the rest of the vacuum system. Whew. Okay, we got everything out, we got it apart. Now it's time to get an inspection. Got the vacuum pump off, we got all the hoses out. We got all that stuff taken apart. And in here, all that is ready to go. The, the filter and the regulator, all the wiring from the uh, the other stuff that we took out is all out. And now, 
time to take a break and then start putting stuff back in. Everything in total so far, three hours. Yeah, probably about three hours. That included an hour, hour and a half for the LED lights and then another hour and a half or so to take all the old stuff out. It's not bad, not, not a bad job so far. Well, I have everything taken apart and we're ready to start putting back together. The first thing I'm gonna do is start working on the plumbing for the pedo static system and putting those lights on those while we have access to everything without anything else in the way. Bada bing, bada boom. That was easy peasy. Just had to unscrew it. Put this little disc in, connect the wires, in there, and we're done. Let's uh, check them out. Hard to tell in daytime, but there we go. We have the big cable harness for the G5s and everything. There's two, one, two of them that you're gonna need. You're gonna need this one, which is a configuration cable, which is just gonna replace the one that's in there. And I've got two little wires right here for the fuel flow. And that's a switch to switch from the G5s uh, to the something. I forget, it, it's for the autopilot to switch the uh, input source. And then, let me open this up for you and show you. At one end, we have this goes to the G5, this goes to the other G5, and it tells you which one. This one is the Attitude, and this one is the HSI. Yep. And this goes out to the GAT11, and then this, that black one, plugs into that box right there. And then those two, 29B, 29B, and the 13. How easy peasy is that? And then that wire right there goes to your outside air temperature sensor and power and ground, bada bing, bada boom, done. Now, we just gotta put it in there, get some zip ties on things, keep on rolling. I really wish I had a timer on because that was all of about 10 minutes to get the wire harness ran for the 2G5s. The switch is gonna Go right here and then to get those there now all that's left is a couple of power and grounds i gotta mount the gad five or the gad and the uh, boxes and then plug those cables into that sweet holy cow this i am super thankful for tim at approach fast stack for the product that he created. I'm not getting endorsed for it, but I am endorsing it. Jimmy's World approves Approach Fast Stack. What do you get in the box? What's in the box? Yay! You get the ring to mount it. You get the mounting hardware that goes on the back of it. G5 itself, right there, nice, they're both exactly the same, same part number and everything, you just have to configure them, and they both have to have the pedo static hooked up, so you can use the bottom one as a altimeter for your backup altimeter, and here is the battery that goes on it, here's the battery that goes onto the back of it. It's a four hour reserve in case you lose electrical power. You still have your instrumentation. That's it. That's what $3,000 gets you. It is an old, old school uh, iPod with an extra battery. Bada bing, bada boom, there's one. You got your battery, you got your pedo static, you got your connector on, and it's the right one, it's the attitude. You gotta make sure of that one. And then uh, slip it up here into place. Line it up, and boom. There it is, we'll just tighten that down. There's one. All right, we got the other one in, battery on. We'll just take that thing in, find it, and 
What the? has to get taken off because it's hitting both of them. Tack on it. Okay, well, there you go. All right, there we go. Just took a drill bit, drilled it down. Now we're good to go. Let's, let's try that again. Okay, we slid them in. Got the little uh, lock screws tightened in. Now we're gonna get back inside there, hook up the pitot static. And we still have a few other things to do. This is GMU 11, the magnetometer. So we gotta put the outside air temperature probe. Take this panel off, because that's where we're gonna run it out and through the wing and stuff like that. So, still gotta do that yet. We're one step at a time.